Hey guys, how's it going? And welcome back to episode number 8 of FIFA 19 Career Mode. And today we begin with a game against FC Lorient. And um, they recently um, relegated from League um, League 1. I don't know if it was last year or the year before. But yeah, they've definitely been in League 1 recently. So it's going to be a tough game. I think they're about 6th or 7th. We might see um, in just at the start of the game commentary here. But we're at home. Hopefully we can get the win. It's quite heavy rain today. Hopefully that won't affect our performance too much. But yeah, you can see there, they're in 7th place. Not been the greatest start to the season for them. But definitely better than us. As we are languishing down near the bottom of the table in 17th, I do believe. But here is the lineup we're going for today. Koita getting the start up top after getting that late goal to help us get the win against Sosho in the last episode. As we keep the same formation, Demonsi also starts as well after impressing in that Sosho game. Normal defence and um, rest of the team as well. Here's Lorient's team. Though, um, let's see what formation they will be using today. And it's going to be 4-3-3, which is, I think that's what Sosho used in uh, the last game we played. And we managed to beat them. Hopefully, um, we can have the same result against um, Lorient today. And we've got a free kick here, 25, or no, 25, 23 minutes in. And Bowby's tried to curl it round the wall, but it's not worked. He's put it off target, and it's going to stay at nil-nil. It's pretty, pretty disappointing free kick. It's quite far wide in the end. Not very good. But now we're coming forward, and Darpino, not Deprino, as I've been saying, um, finds the ball forward. Here's Koita. He's gone through. The keeper gets a touch on it, and the defender makes a very important challenge. Koita almost got in. For his second goal in two games there. And we're almost at the end of the half as well. This has not been the most of um, in, um, interesting first halves. As we work it around the back. Edgar gives the ball back to Monfrey. He goes inside. Here's to Monsi. Through for um, Ziani. But it's not going to reach him. We will get the throw though. Here is Ziani. He goes back to Demonsi. Gets it inside. Here's Bowby. He's trying to work some space. He gets the shot off. It's saved. Not a bad effort there from Bowby, and he wins us a corner. It was on his weaker foot, so he definitely did well to get that on target. Now, can we get something from this corner? Ziani to put it in towards Monfrey. It's headed away, only as far as Halanti, who will get there first, then he, but he loses it. And now, Lorient can come forward as we coming up to half time here. They play around with it at the back. Is Martins Pereira back inside? Marvo on the ball, out to Cabot, or Cabot, probably Cabot. And now here's Quartet, but he's tackled. And now, we can we have one last chance before the half is up? Ziani's tackled, but Monfrey wins it back. But a foul's been given. I don't really think, know what that foul was for. Didn't see it, but um, they have one last chance. Should be dealt with by Halanti. Not very well, and they're still coming here. Paid inside, Quartet misses, and that's half time. Not the most of interesting first halves, that one. Hopefully the second half can be a bit better. But we wouldn't take a draw against 7th place. I mean, we would take a draw against 7th place, definitely. Um, although the home fans will probably want us to push for another victory. Let's, let's see if we can get it. As uh, they kick off and bring it forward. Balby dispossesses him. And now here's Balby on the ball. He's lost it but wins it back. Cambon to Halanti. He's trying to work himself some space. Gets away from that dude. Here's Balby. And now Demonsi has got space to run into. He plays in Koita. Koita is in here. Can he find a goal? He's probably gone too far wide. The shot is saved. And it's going to be a goal kick. Perrin must have touched it. And that's disappointing. Koita with a decent effort, but he couldn't beat Petkovic, who's been um, quite good today. And now, here comes Lorient. Lemoine into Quartet. He's going to have the shot. And Galon makes an important save there. 
and he throws it out all the way to Ziani, whose touch is bad. And now Harthurs into Der Place, into Wissa. And Wissa could get the cross in. He's tackled, though. And Demonsi to Ziani as we look to come forward. But that's a bad pass. And we've given it away again. Here's Lorient. Coming forward again, Quartet into Cabot, trying to get it out, Quartet shoots, it's blocked, it falls back to him, Galon, another good save. He's been quite good today, both goalkeepers have been quite good today, and it shows with the scoreline still being nil-nil, but he's thrown it away. And now, here come Lorient again, Delaplace, coming forward, looks to slide in Wissa, it's intercepted. Here's Bowby, into a Festion, and Halanti has got space on the overlap here, he's going to look to play in Koita. Koita's going to get there, he turns back, can he get something, can he get a cross in or something, he goes to Halanti who might get the cross in, that looks too deep, is Demonsi going to keep it in, no he's not, and that's a bit disappointing, there's only 14 or so minutes left now, but now, now there's just 12 as they look to come forward, it's crossed in, Halanti with a big clearing header, Ziani controlling it, inside Demonsi, now a Festion, and we've got people rushing forward here, a Festion through, here is Koita, Going forward, Koita. Oh, it's a foul. Oh, no. Did he win the ball there or not? Not sure, but it's been given a foul. Ziani now. Can he pop this free kick in and give us what will most likely be the winning goal? The captain standing over it. Can he curl this one in? Aiming for the top left. Oh, it's a big block by the big number six. If he didn't jump there, I reckon that might have been going... On target and probably would have tested the keeper. Score, maybe. But anyway, here's Demonsi. Demonsi turns. Demonsi, oh no. That's a poor effort. He's blazed it, blazed it over the bar. It's a good touch. It beats the number five, who I th at least I think that was number five, who was running across. And unfortunately, his shot is really poor. Now Balbi to a Festion. We've got so many players forward. A Festion, there's space on the outer side. Letalic holds it up well. Here's Demonsi to Ziani. Ziani turns him. Surely Ziani. Oh no, he's missed. And again, we can we um fail to take opportunity of a good chance. Ziani on his left foot. It is his weaker foot, but surely he should be hitting the target from there. He did very well to beat the defender, and we've just got two minutes now. One minute left. Bowby trying to keep it. He does end up keeping it. Then he gives it away, and it looks like that it's going to end nil-nil. And there it is. The final whistle is blown. It's a nil-nil draw. We had the opportunities to win that game, and the home fans are quite disappointed that we didn't end up getting the victory. Um, yeah, we played very well. Um, they had a few chances. Galon was mostly comfortable, though. Um, I didn't quite get to glance at the shots. I think we might have had eight compared to their five, but that, that might well be wrong. You'll, you'll have been able to see them. But I'm pretty sure on the balance of that game, we were the more dominant team, and we were unfortunate that we just didn't take our chances. But that um, draw has picked us up one point, but I think we've dropped one place. Um, after going down to 18th. I think we were in 17th before the game. But here is our youth scouting as it currently looks. No one really of note in here right now. A few people have got a potential reaching up to 80. But then again, the other half of their potential is down to 60. And as you can see there with Cedric Blondeau, his overall is quite poor as well. The only decent dude we've come across is this man, Xavier Mallet or Mallet. With a decent potential of 72 to 92. Hopefully he could be a good left back for us in the future. Uh, we've got Halanti for the moment. And he's been very good since coming in. But now, away from home, it's Gazalek Ajaxio. This is going to be quite a difficult game. I think they're up there, mid-table. Maybe 8th or ninth, but I could well be very wrong. Pretty sure they're mid-table, though. Um, we're away from home. It's going to be a tough one. They're definitely ahead of us which isn't really that hard considering this season. But yeah, here is their lineup. Um, let's see what formation they'll have today. And it's another 4-3-3. Same 4-3-3 with that one holding midfielder and the two going off him as well. So yeah, um, another similar formation that we're coming up against. We've played well the last two games. They've both been against... 
four three threes, and um, with the exact same like per, um, place and like holding midfielder and type of four three. I think that's a four three three two in um, ultimate team formations. But here's our lineup. Um, Koita keeps his place. A Festion comes in for Demonsi after he was a bit disappointing in the last game, but that's really the only two things to report. No other changes. Hopefully, we can get the win today. A guys like Ajaxio will kick off. Let's hope we can pick up another three points. Come on, Orléans. But they've got a corner here. Roy is going to whip it in. In it goes. Galon catches it well. And now he's going out here. He's closed down. Turns back. And then, well, he passes it straight to their player, who man, who proceeds to kick the ball into the back of an empty net. And Blayak, or maybe Blayach, has been gifted a very simple goal. I was, the f I'm pretty sure I was trying to pass it to Gambon. And, I mean, normally with a poor pass, it's put a bit too far out in front of the target, and the striker runs onto it and gets the goal. This one, it went straight to their player and so yeah that was an incredibly disappointing um, goal to concede will we be able to bounce back from it though let's see here comes Perrin to Dupri actually yeah Duprino is on the ball Koita looking to work some space into a Festion who shoots a low hard driving effort there and it's turned behind by the keeper it's going to be a corner Koita did well made a bit of space a Festion shot was decent but it was well saved. Now Cam Bon receives it from Edgar into Bowby to Deprino. Here's Coiter. We've come forward here. A festion, not quite from a festion there. Unfortunately, he couldn't quite beat the keeper. But now we're coming forward. Ziani's running through. Ziani receives the ball. Can he score here? Couldn't score last time. This time he shoots on his right. It's saved. It comes to Perrin, and Perrin smashes it in. Powerful finish from Gaten Perrin, and we're back on level terms. That's great. We will definitely take that. Let's have a look at this on the replay. Ziani made a very good run, was played in his shot. It was saved by the keeper, and then Perrin, following it up, smashes it in. Let's have a look at this on the replay. He's just completely smashed it. The keeper has no chance. Goes into the roof of the net. That's a great finish from Perrin. And it's 1-1 now. First goal in the league for him. Not sure if he scored in the... Did he score in the preseason tournament? He probably did. He probably scored more goals in the preseason tournament than we have in the whole season played so far. But anyway, the whole league season, I mean. But yeah, anyway. Here, we're coming forward. Darpino, Dar that's going to take a bit of getting used to. Or Koita might still get onto it. He does. Coming around. He lays it off. A Festion shoots. Oh my goodness me. That is a stunning goal from Thomas A Festion. And before half time, we've turned it around. It's 2 1 now. A Festion scores an absolute beauty of a goal from the edge of the box. On his weaker left foot as well. What a great strike that was. Can we see a replay, please? The away fans are thrilled with it. Koita brings it down very well. He works it back, then lays it off. And Ephestion just powers it into the top corner. Let's have a look at this. Coming across him. Smash on the left foot. It's drifting away. That dude almost handballs it. But right into the top corner. I mean, the keeper doesn't even dive that high. Which, I mean, it's a bit confusing. But anyway. He's second, of the league, he's second in the league to get our second of the game. And we have a 2-1 lead. We've cons and we've turned it around after that poor um, first goal early on and it looks like half time's coming up here and there it is 2-1 two, two, at the break that's something I haven't said very often this season I'm not sure why their fans are so happy they're behind maybe they're just jumping up and down in anger rather than happiness but anyway it's a 2-1 lead for us at the break another rainy night in France, it must be said. But yeah, let's hope we can come out in the second half and keep this lead, if not add to it. 
one win this season. It was a 3-1 victory. This one's at 2-1. If we get one more goal, I'm pretty confident of us winning. And now uh, they're coming forward. Blake into Marvo. It's a good save from Galon to deny them, trying to make up for his earlier mishap. Roy into Araujo. He plays it to the edge of the box. Campanini into Blayak. Marvo. Ball falls for him. Oh! I'm not sure who that was who had the shot, but it's only just fizzed wide of the post. That's actually a decent little opening he's got himself there, and he probably should have done better. It's not far away, but it is a miss in the end. And now here, they're coming forward again. They're really pushing in this second half. Blayak to Araujo. His shot's blocked. It falls back to him, but that one fizzes right over the crossbar. And it's still 2-1. But they're coming forward again here. Gomis into Blayak, who keeps it away from our defender. Here's Ndoy. He turns back. Marvo tries to play it through. Edgar intercepts, but then he's dispossessed. Here's Blayak into Rowe. Puel, he shoots. Turned behind by Galon again. And we've just got 14 more minutes to hold out for what will be just our second win of the season. But Gazalek Ajaxio are really coming at us now. Puel... Couldn't quite find the bottom quarter with that effort. Roy is going to whip this corner in. In it goes. Well up and away from Perrin of all people. Campanini now receiving on the edge of the box. Again, the shot comes in, but I don't think it was a very good one. And Galon saves. And now there's just three, no, two minutes left of normal time now. Araujo receives the ball out wide. Roy plays it in. Oh, was that a foul or a very good tackle from Matombo? Matombo. Matombo. It is. Yes, it's Matombo. But anyway, this breaks on here. Demonsi's in. Can he score this time? Gets away from that dude. Oh, he's blazed it over again. Incredibly disappointing. But there's two minutes left. Almost one. Intercepted by Festion. Can he keep the ball? No. They're coming forward. They're probably going to have one last chance, if that. And Doi intercepted by Monfrey. Get it out of there. Well done. Letalic's got it. And there it is. Full time. We've won 2-1 against Gazaleka Jaxio. A big victory for us there. And one I certainly didn't see coming. Two rather tough games in today's episode. And we have managed to come away with four points. And I will definitely take that. We'll have to look and see how that's affected the league table. Hopefully we've jumped up quite a bit. But yeah, a Festion and Perrin getting on the score sheet today. The Gazaleka Jaxio fans are rather disappointed. But yeah, a 2-1 victory for us. And that is very good stuff. Very important win. And uh, as we look at the league table here, that three points has jumped us up um, ahead of Grenoble foot on goal difference by one goal difference point. I think I calculated there. Um, Orcs Air still lead the league. Could make it five point clearance, five point difference if they beat Lorient. No, there was another team who hadn't... Yeah, okay. It's not necessarily against Lorient. It's against... Actually, you can see it, you can see it there. It's against Lons. So yeah, they could go well clear. They look like they're running away with it. We're in 15th. Three points off 12th, where Acea Jaxio sit. Not the team we just beat. There, um, it's two teams from a Jaxio. Is a Jaxio a place? I th surely it is. AC probably stands for like something club, and a Jaxio is the place. Anyway, um, we have in the next episode Valenciennes, and they're sitting second, I do believe. Feel free to go and rewind it and see when we had it at the top of the table, if um, if Valencians were in second. Actually, we're going up. Yeah, they are in second, as you can see there. 20 points so far this season, so they're having a pretty decent year. That'll be a tough one, but that'll be in next episode. There'll be th This will be it for today's one. I hope you have enjoyed. If you did, please do drop a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time. Goodbye.